Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Um, I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, June 28th, okay? This is a day of clearing away. It's clearing away the last remnants that you've been holding on to from the past. And I know this because I already did a reading. I already did a reading for today, but I am not going to share it because... Um, it was too long, and, and I just don't want to make my daily vibes that long. Um, I may end up sharing it, but we'll see. Um, this is a daily energy for Thursday, June 28th. For all signs. Definitely karmic, okay? We have a, we're involved in a karmic situation that is is really close to being released. My goosebumps are coming right now, okay? We had justice and judgment in my last reading. So, this is karmic. There's a karmic situation that is very close, very close to being closed. <laughs> you know how that just combined, okay? It just it's very close. This is for all signs. Yeah. Freedom. Liberation. It's over. There's no going back. This contract is over. It's done. It wasn't meant to be. It had to end. This is a time of personal freedom. It's time to be practical, responsible, disciplined, and devoted to your future. Somebody has been reluctant to take the next step. And it's, and it's not practical. It's not practical. It's time to be practical and stop playing these games and take that next step. You have to be confident. It's time to take the lead. It's time to be the boss of your own life. You're the boss. You are your creator. Your own creator. Yeah, I know there's a higher power. Okay. But... Free will plays a part, and you are the boss. There is some sort of... Lack of faith. In believing. Lack of faith in, in believing. <laughs> Lack of faith. Lack of faith in believing your own path, believing your own gut, believing your own mind. There's lack of faith. Therefore, you're stalled from moving forward. You're not listening. Somebody hasn't been listening or they're, they're listening but not fully listening to their inner guide. Being stuck, hanging around. Maybe maybe you're involved in a commitment you don't want to be in, but you were taught that you should stay. You know, if you committed, you need to stay. Because this is traditions. This is the conventional approach, which is causing you to be stuck. It's causing you to stay someplace. Sacrificing your truth. Seriously. Sacrificing your own truth.
A lot of doubt here, a lot of self-doubt. A lot of insecurity and discouragement and faithlessness. Faith in the forward path. Um, faithlessness in the forward path. The chariot reversed is loss of direction. Loss of will and lack of discipline. And you need to find that discipline. Like the Queen of Pentacles, she's very disciplined. To bring balance and harmony back to your life. You have to. You have to find that discipline and that practicality to find wish fulfillment. And it is in your hands because free will absolutely plays a part. You are the boss of your own life. This is a day of personal freedom. And letting this contract that is no longer feasible, that you've been holding on to, end. Unless you want to continue to suffer and stay in a situation that you know isn't right. You know it isn't right. But there is a feeling of the fear of the unknown was big in the last reading. Okay, we had the two of wands reversed. We had some other ones too. I can't remember them now. Um... But fear of the unknown is holding you back. Lack of belief in oneself. Lack of belief in the path and the forward path. Not letting things unfold. Trying to control it. Trying to, to see the future before you take a step. That's fear of the unknown. A lot of fears here. Big time. A lot of fears. I just need to make sure that this is zoomed in before we go any further. Staying stuck in a place of limbo, resisting change that needs to be happen. You're being called to look at things from a new perspective. Yourself. Look inside. Because this is inside for a new, new perspective on whatever situation that isn't making you happy. Today is a day of completing a negative cycle, a, neg a negative, hurtful, painful contract cycle. It's over. It's done. It's done. It's time to get your life back on track. But that is going to take strength and courage and confidence. And willpower. And there's been a loss of willpower with that chariot card reversed. There's been a loss of willpower. Take action right now. Act now. Think later. Move out of this situation. Whatever it is. Whatever this situation is that you are hanging on to. Is not bringing balance to your life. It's overwhelming. It's too much. And you are being called to take action. Act now. Think later. <laughs> because like I said, it does not bring balance to your life. You are involved in a one-sided situation. And there is no forward movement that is going to change that. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. There's no commitment here. Whatever this is. There's another person involved with that lover's card. They're not committed. There's no forward path. It's one-sided. It wasn't going to be long-term. And now it is time for you to be practical and, and move on. Act now. Stop, stop staying where it's so rough. It is so rough. 
You're allowing it. It's time to make a conscious change to let go of that baggage. Drop it. Just drop it. Free yourself. Free yourself, free yourself from this contract. And that's gonna take a lot of strength, willpower, and devotion and discipline. This contract is no more. It's done, it's over. It is over. Your balance of weights, it, it's waiting, it's waiting for you. And you can only ignore the truth for so long before that blindfold is gonna, it's gonna deteriorate, it's gonna deteriorate. It's gonna, it's gonna fall off, it is going to fall off. You can only keep that blindfold on for so long. You can only ignore the truth for so long. Eventually, it's not going to stay up anymore. She's going to get, it's just not, it's not. You have to make a difficult, painful, stressful decision. You have to face your fears and stop blocking your emotions and the truth. You need to stop stalling and resisting change and be open to a new beginning. Act now, think later. You're involved in a one-sided situation that absolutely needs to end. It's not practical, you have to be practical. You have to be strong, you have to be devoted. You have to make a conscious change to let this go so that you can regain balance, peace, and harmony in your life. You are involved in a one-sided situation where the other person is not reciprocating and it is over and it is time to let it go. Drop this baggage right now. And for those of you that say I'm scolding you, you should probably go watch somebody else. I'm not scolding anybody, I'm trying to get the message across. There's no relationship growth in whatever this situation is, and it is time to move on. Mentally and physically. So anyway, I'm going to get one oracle card. I don't know who this is for, but it is for somebody. Take action in regards to your future. Stop stalling. Stop stop resisting change. Accept the truth. Stop Stop ignoring the truth, whoever this is for. It's not bringing you success. There's no success keeping the blindfold on. No success. No commitment. There's not any commitment in this situation. There's not. It's one-sided. And it's over. That It is over. That Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands... It's a time of personal freedom. Free, to, free yourself from this situation and bring balance back to your life. Restore and replenish. Yeah, that's what it feels like, huh? That's what it feels like. 
You are in need of something so much deeper than rest. You need restoration, replenishment, and revival. This will not necessarily come from lying about somewhere, taking a moment out of your day or evening activities. You are more likely to gain what you need by breaking with your routine completely and doing something different. You need some variety, some spice, some change to bring fresh energy into your body, mind, and heart. You need to restore and revive yourself by changing the usual flow of energy through your being. You could stimulate this process by going to a different place, meeting different people, and taking a different action to what you would usually do. You can return to your regular routine in time if it feels good for you. However, it is now time to move. And that is the truth. That's the truth. Without pushing yourself beyond what is known, comfortable, and familiar, this oracle comes as a message from the great loving guardian, which is life itself. You have been working so hard and have accomplished so much already. However, you often sell your accomplishments short and focus on how much more is yet to be done. Life is telling you that it's time to put down that paintbrush, the pen, the endless lists, the thinking mind, and get into your body. Take the time to experience yourself in and of nature. Remember how to just be. In doing so, even for a relatively short amount of time, you will feel more of yourself and ready for the next phase. You might be surprised what just a day or two of this can do for you. Restoration does not have to be long, a long and involved process, especially if it is attended to when needed. This oracle is also confirmation that you are in an important transition phase between one level of experience and the next. If you feel as though you are treading water or are in a sort of purgatory somewhere between your old life and your new life, then this particularly applies to you. If you can't quite break into the level that you are reaching for, have faith. And there's a lack of faith. We talked about this. You are just taking a breather between races. Soon you will have the power and energy you need to reach the next level and succeed. If you have been considering a new endeavor or have recently started one, then this oracle brings a message of encouragement. Yes, this is a good step forward for you. You might be worried that you are taking on too much or that you're making the wrong decision. You are encouraged to take time out to rest and rebalance yourself, but you are supported in your need for new and different experiences to refresh your spirit. You may let some of your new endeavors go once you have gained what you need from them. However, they are useful now. You are encouraged to trust yourself and to know that you are working consciously to meet your own needs, and this is healthy and good. The oracle of restore and replenish also comes with guidance for your healing. If you have been under the weather, you will soon be well again. If you have been working on healing your body, mind, and soul, this oracle comes with assurance that what you are doing is working and bringing you benefit. Even if you are yet to experience the full extent of that benefit, continue with your work and know that you are indeed healing. This is a great message. And that's what I have for today.